This video is sponsored by and available on Protoplay, an alternative video hosting platform focusing on creator freedom for both content creators and viewers alike. Check it out with the link in the description below, or feel free to grab the app found on Apple and Android devices. What is good, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me on our latest episode of Combat Tips. Today's tutorial is going to be focusing on the deadly and carnivorous royal clone known as Melina. As with all of these tutorials, if there's any particular brutality you've come here to learn today, feel free to hop on down below, and you should be able to find timestamps either on the timeline, the description, or in the comments. All of those should take you to anything I feature in today's video. And let me not forget that with all of the controllers available today, should there be any inputs I say in today's video that don't entirely make sense to your particular controller, feel free to use this guide right here and that should allow you to take anything I say in today's video and convert it onto any platform currently hosting Mortal Kombat 11. You all know how it goes at this point. We're hopping right on over to the cosmetic screen, and that is, of course, to show you that as of this video's release date, I currently have all 25 out of 25 finishers for Melina, which means today's video is going to be featuring 11 different brutalities. We, of course, are going to be starting off with the classic today, but again, if there's anything in particular you have come here to learn, please feel free to hop on down below, and those timestamps should get you where you gotta go. Super excited to finally be tackling Melina, my friends. Let's get right into it. The classic. For this particular brutality, you want to make sure that you do not block any attacks during the final round. And to clarify, the final round is your victorious round, so that can be either rounds 2 or 3, just whichever one you as a player are going to be winning on. From there, you simply want to make sure you finish your opponent with an uppercut, and while that's happening, hold either Y or triangle on your respective controller. So of course our uppercut folks, who could forget it, down Y or down triangle. <laughs> And there you go. Now, as you can see up here, I am on round two, and something I like to clarify with the classic is this. As you can see, I am blocking. However, I have not yet forfeit the ability to do this brutality, and that's because I'm not actually taking damage while blocking. Okay, so just something small to note. The only reason I even really mention it is because personally, I'm a little reflexive. Sometimes I like to hit that block button, and if I happen to want to go for the classic and hit it by accident, as long as I can make sure to unblock and not actually take damage while I'm blocking, I know that I can still do this brutality. That really sums this one up though, folks. Simply remember not to block any damage on the final round, and then finish your opponent with an uppercut while holding either Y or triangle. Let's go for it. <laughs> That's all there is to this one, folks. It's called the classic for a reason. Next up is the nail shooter brutality. Now for this one, all you gotta do is finish your opponent with a back throw, and while that's happening, push back at least three times during that final animation, or as I always like to suggest with brutalities like this, just spam backwards until you get it going. So by default, a back throw can always be performed if you simply tap L1 or left button by itself, no directions needed, boom, and there you go, you can see we just got our back throw. Same for you arcade style players, X and A at the same time, or square and X at the same time, and boom, no directions needed, you will still get, by default, your back throw. That about sums this one up though, folks. Remember, simply finish your opponent with that back throw, and as I like to suggest, just spam backwards until we get it going. Let's do this. Boom, spamming that backwards. Awesome. Big fan of this one. It is definitely a classic reference. If you play some of the older games, you will certainly recognize this as a classic in and of itself. And as I've said before, I love when they take those old school brutalities, or rather fatalities, and then turn them into new school brutalities. It's a great way to repurpose them since, compared to nowadays, they're a lot shorter. Next up we have the Maneater Brutality. Now for this one, you simply want to finish your opponent with a towards throw, and while that's happening, push down at least twice, or again, as I will suggest, just spam down until we get this one going. Now of course, a towards throw is going to require you to move towards your opponent, and then simply tap L1 or left button while doing so, and as you can see, there it is. Once again, same thing for arcade style players, X and A at the same time, or square and X at the same time while moving towards the opponent, and boom you, of course, will still get your towards throw. 
Oh, look at that one. And that's about it for this one, folks. Finish your opponent with that towards throw, and as I suggested, spam downwards until we get it going. Let's move in. Spam in that downwards direction. <laughs> oh, chunky. <laughs> Our next brutality is called Let It Grow, Let It Grow. You will require the Stabby Scotch ability for this particular brutality, so of course, have that good to go, and we can proceed. Thankfully, the requirements are pretty straightforward. You just want to finish your opponent with that amplified Stabby Scotch ability, and while that's happening, make sure to push downwards at least three times, or as again, I will suggest, just spam downwards until we get it going. So our basic Stabby Scotch is going to be forward, down, back, Y, or forward, down, back, triangle, and it should look... Just like that. Now, of course, we want the amplified version of this ability, so after you have stabbed the opponent a couple times in the face, make sure to tap R1 or right button, and if all goes to plan, you should get this right here. Oh, beautiful. That's it for this one, folks. Finish your opponent with that amplified stabby scotch, and remember, push down at least three times, or as again, I will suggest, spam downwards till it gets going. Let's rock. Spam and downwards. But it gets better. <laughs> it seems so simple, but just the idea of a seed being planted in your head and then growing within what, two, three, five seconds to become that big instantly? Additionally, this is a really cool reference to what I believe was a friendship for Melina back in the day. So this was again, a really cool way to repurpose that, not only into a nostalgic throwback, but to, into an actual brutality that does what appears to be pretty gruesome damage, if you ask me. It's not what you see with this one, it's what you hear, that gnarling, that crushing, as the vines are tearing through the head and hatching from the skull, oof. Not a good way to go. Next up, we have the Tasty Brutality. And this, of course, is going to require the Kanum Dash ability. So please have that good to go, and we can proceed. Thankfully, another one that's pretty straightforward. Simply finish your opponent with that amplified Kanum Dash. And while that's happening, you're going to want to mash either X and Y or Square and Triangle as rapidly as you can. So that basic Kanum Dash is going to be back down B or back down Circle. And of course, it'll look like that right there. Now for the amplified version of this ability, just as Melina slides out on the other side of the opponent, make sure to tap R1 or right button, and you should get that right there. Now when it comes to mashing X and Y or square and triangle, most people will find that their thumb, boom, sliding between the two, works just fine. However, if you happen to have trouble doing that, you can also take your pointer and middle fingers and boom, place each of these separately on one button, and that way you have both of them going, just kind of helping guarantee this brutality might work a little better. But I'd say that sums this one up pretty well, folks. Again, finish your opponent with that amplified Kanum dash, and make sure to mash either square and triangle or X and Y while it's happening. Let's go for it. Mashing my respective buttons. <laughs> Ah, oh, gross. I can already Just that extra little slurp of the side of the face. Yeah. <laughs> I will note, you definitely want to be quick with the uh, with the X and Y in the square and triangle on this one. I noticed that it almost happened immediately as soon as I got that amplified Kanum dash going. So just keep that in mind. You may have to be quick on the draw for this one. Next up is that rollout brutality. Very simple. All you got to do is finish your opponent with the ball roll. And while that's happening... Hold down. So a ball roll is as simple as back down B or back down circle. And of course, there it is. Classic move. Like I said, folks, very simple. Finish your opponent with that ball roll ability while holding down. <laughs> and there go the legs. <laughs> Pretty, pretty simple, what can I say? One thing I will note though, there is a slight alternative for this brutality you can do. Let me show you how to do that right now. So for this alternative, all you gotta do is apply the Rolling Thunder ability. Now this will replace the ball roll, but other than that, it is exactly the same in terms of requirements. Back down B, back down circle, while holding down. Let's go for it, folks. 
<laughs> and there it is. Instead of taking off the bottom, we take off the top. Up to you, really, though, when it comes down to setting up your movesets. Like I said, ball roll is replaced by rolling thunder. So, if you have a preference, you might want to go with one or the other. It all comes down to preference with this one. But, now you know, there is an alternative, if desired. So next up, we have the head kebab brutality. And this one will require that you have the playtime ability in your arsenal. So, of course, please have that good to go and naturally will proceed. Now for the requirements, as I suggested, you will need to have the playtime ability equipped, kinda obvious, but beyond that, you wanna make sure you finish your opponent with the half-blood combo and hold up during that animation. Let's get in there. So for this half-blood combo, that is gonna be forward B, then A, and then X and A at the same time, or forward circle, then X, and then square and X at the same time, and it should look just like that. Totally optional, but if you desire, you can actually push L1 or left button in the place of X and A at the same time, or square and X at the same time. And as you can see, boom, you will still get the same result. I'd say that sums this one up though, folks. Again, finish your opponent with that half-blood combo, and make sure to hold up during that final animation. Let's go for it. Holding up. <laughs> Quick and clean, nothing too crazy about this one, but I do like how it kind of trails off from that combo, so it is kind of neat in that respect. Now next up is the Tally Splat Brutality, and for this one, all you gotta do is finish your opponent with an amplified Tally Drop, and while that's happening, hold down. Now our Tally Drop is very straightforward, simply push down down A, or down down X, and <laughs> there you go, another classic. Let's of course not forget that we want the amplified version of this ability though, so after Melina has kicked the opponent for the first time, immediately push R1 or right button and you should get that right there. Very simple folks, finish your opponent with that amplified tele drop and hold down. Let's go for it. Holding down. <laughs> there you go, giblets of the brain. <laughs> Next up we have Mount and Destroy. This one will again require that you have the playtime ability equipped in your arsenal, so please have that ready to go and we can move on. Another one that is not too tough, remember have that playtime ability equipped as we already mentioned. From there you simply want to finish your opponent with the Raiden Dirty combo and while that's happening push down at least three times or again I will always suggest spam down with brutalities like this. So the riding dirty combo is going to be X, then X again, and then X and A at the same time, or square, then square again, and then square and X at the same time. And it should look just like that. This is another example where you can replace square and X at the same time, or X and A at the same time, with the L1 or left button. And again, you should get boom. Same thing. I'd say that's about it though, folks. Finish your opponent with that ride and dirty combo and make sure to push down at least three times or again, as I say, just spam it. Let's go for it, folks. Pushing down as fast as I can. Oh. Oh. Eyes fully destroyed this time. You know, sometimes there is more gruesome detail to smaller damages like that. Losing your vision is never really a fun thing, especially because for all we know, she might have to be, she might even survive such an attack, you know, and then you'll never have your eyes again. Not ideal. Our next brutality is called Pretty Pretty Princess. Now for this one, all you gotta do is finish your opponent with that Flesh Pits combo while holding up. Now our Flesh Pits combo should be Y, then A, then A, then B, or Triangle, then X, then X, and then Circle, and all together you should get beautiful. Another very simple brutality, folks. Finish your opponent with that Flesh Pits combo and hold up while you're doing it. Let's go for it. Holding up. Oh. <laughs> And there you go. I love that extra flow that comes. They could have just stopped the head from getting, you know, kicked off and that would be it. But they did not stop there and they made the actual body do a little flip through the air too. Just a nice bit of extra action going on if you ask me. And again, this one came off a combo. One that is also very fluid. So those are some of my favorite brutalities. So our last brutality for today, folks, is referred to as the pin cushion. 
For this one, you are going to require the Psy Slide ability. So naturally, have that good to go, and we can proceed. Thankfully, another simplified one, simply finish your opponent with that amplified Psy Slide. And while that's happening, hold down. Now the Psy Slide should be down back X or down back square. And as you can see, a pretty cool move if you ask me. Let's not forget, however, that we want the amplified version of this ability. So as the Psy is going up into the sky, make sure to tap R1 or right button. And as you can see, boom. You should get it to home in on the opponent. It does not matter where you are standing. As you can see, even back here with the amplification, it should, boom, still find its way on over to the opponent. That wraps this one up though, folks. Finish your opponent with that amplified side slide and make sure to hold down while you're doing it. I'm gonna do it from way over here just to show you that it does seem to work at any distance. Here we go, folks. Amplifying. <laughs> and of course, holding down. Simple, right to the point. This one isn't even too messy necessarily, it's just the fact that, you know, shing, a nice way to use that projectile. I'm a big fan, again, of having a way to finish your opponent brutality-wise with a projectile because online, sometimes you get stuck in those back and forths where it's just you and another player trying to outzone each other. And if you can finish it like this, all the cooler. Now here's a bit of a bonus for some of you who may want to make use of it. Occasionally, when you finish your opponent with a Brutality, you of course will perform a taunt. In this case, Molina is performing the Smile into the Mirror taunt, and as you can see, she has a wide open mouth in this case. Alternatively, you can push Triangle or Y buttons when she is looking in the mirror, and as you can see right here, Alternatively, she will keep her mouth shut, and that's really all there is to it. Such a small detail, and as I understand, this does not work with all brutalities. With some of them, she won't even be opening her mouth, but it's an option, it's available, and if you want to make use of it, have at it. So that's going to wrap it up for today, folks, but thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know Melina is a very popular, very, very famous character, so having her on our tutorial roster is finally an awesome thing to accomplish, especially after she was missing from MKX, so I know her being back is just huge for so many people. It's good to see her, and she's pretty well done, if you ask me. I really like how flexible she is in terms of her moves and abilities. She's very much a quick agile character it's really cool to see her flowing throughout the battlefield so i don't know what you guys think but very much approved on my behalf if you folks enjoyed this video today feel free to reflect that down below either in the form of a like or a comment and if you want to see more content like this in the future feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out exactly when more content like this is gonna go live i'd say that's gonna bring things to a conclusion for today folks once again thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate your company and i appreciate all the support you folks have been giving these videos if you want to help choose who gets voted into the next tutorial feel free to check out the poll on my page i usually try and post one at least in advance a couple days before making these videos so that i can know exactly who you people want to see next so once again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Your company means the world to me. Your comments, your likes, even just your general feedback, whether it be negative or not, it all helps mold this channel into a better future. So again, thank you. I appreciate you all. And hopefully, I will see you on the next video. But until then, stay safe and stay happy, my friends. Adios.